Hello everybody, it's a range comment, and today I am checking out a noodle noodle game I've heard about called Armored Commander. Now it's a um I recently went into 1.0 and it's a World War II tank commander roguelike. Which sounds pretty cool. Now I've played a little bit of it before as you can see because it says continue campaign and I'm bad. So um Figured I'd show you, get this a little bit of exposure. Yeah, I watched that new campaign. So this is a roguelite. So basically in the game, uh, it takes place in 1944 during the invasion, well, after the invasion of Normandy, and you can either play as Patton, Patton's best, as in the, you know, the American army, or Canada's best, which is part of the British Commonwealth forces. Since I am British, I'm going to go with Canada. So tank selection, you can choose to have it strict, as in so it would be realistically uh, available. So like you'd start off with a 75 millimeter Sherman, then you you know uh, later into the war you'd go into things like you know the fireflies and uh, the easy aids and whatnot, but we're gonna go with unlimited so we can just choose the tank we want. So I can show you some. Again, this is my t this is my sort of playthrough. So if you want to do it your way, then that's fine. Uh, we can choose commander replacement. So basically, you become the commander of the tank. So if you die, that's it, game over. Or you can choose it casual. So if you die or are sent home due to injuries, you can be replaced and continue on. We're going to go with casual for the purposes of a little recording, and same with the unlimited tank selection, because again, you, I can show you what's in the game. And you can select the start date, ending at May the 4th, 1945, and August 8th, 1944, or beginning of the August 8th. So yeah, let's go with the start, shall we? Uh, let's go and continue. August 8th, 1944. Right, so what tank models do we have? We have the Sherman 2, front, millimeter, hull. Uh, well, the front is an 11, the turret is 8, and the size is 6 and 4. So that's just like the armor values of the game, um, that basically, um, what's it called? You know, that uh, the armor values uh, when you do dice rolls to determine how much is needed to penetrate it. So we've got the Sherman 2, the Sherman 5, the Sherman Firefly, and that's about it. All right, so let's go with the Firefly because it's a uh, Sherman Five fitted with a 17-pounder intended to defeat German heavy armor to leave room for the larger main gun and ammunition. And the assistant driver position were removed. So as you can see uh, in the tank selections, we've got the driver, the assistant gunner, or the battle machine gunner, the loader, the commander, and the gunner. We're going to go with the Firefly because then again, it can probably do good shit against enemies. Right, what's the name? Let's go for control off a random. Eyes are closed, eyes are closed, eyes are closed, and boom. The Battling Annie is our tank name. Enter my name. Uh, Karma. Karma is assigned to your tank commander. So now you can choose skills, which help your crew during uh, battle phases and stuff like that, which we'll get into later. Um, let's go for... Lightning reflexes, so a chance to ignore from a collateral damage when a crewman is exposed. Uh, no, let's not. Let's go for true grip because it increases the odds of uh, recovering from status effects and uh, less likely to get a wound that is severe. Mechanic? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Um, fire direction? Yeah, increase modifier by directing fire. Okay, let's do with that. Um, okay. Next, we got Victor Feigl as our uh, gunner. He's got two skill points. Let's go with no weak spot, so it's an unmodified roll of three counts as a critical hit. Actually, no, that's not. Let's go with target tracking, so he can. There's no negative to hit modifier firing at moving targets. Um, and let's bonus to rate fire. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, right next, we got Warren Ellis as our loader, who's a lance corporal, shell juggler, fast hands, bonus to rate fire, scrounge, more rare types of ammunition. Yeah. Main gun available if activated. Hmm. That just means you get things like APDS, uh, which is like Sabo. Um. I don't know. Let's go. Release shells taken from general stores. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Why not? Uh, and our driver is Angelo Winters. He's from Ontario, apparently. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go for a cautious driver. So, but greater chance for the tank to start a counter in hull down, or he um, starts the encounter moving, which is what we want. Alright, so this is the map, as you can see on the left there. 
Just over two months after the D-Day invasion, the 1st Canadian Army has launched Operation Total Eyes, designed to brick the German defences south of the town of Khan. Supported by mechanic mechanised infantry, your battle group is to advance through the town of Sint Ho. Although it has been hit by Allied artillery, command still expects strong resistance, so the mission type today is battle. Expected resistance type for the day is heavy, it's clear, and it's dry. Alright. So let's view the tank. So as you can see there, this is the tank. We've got the battling iron, the Sherman 5C, the Firefly. Right, so we open our hatches, which just increases our spotting skills. So we can change the gun load. Oh, okay, we can't do that yet. Um, let's do... let's change some ammunition. So we've got, this, we've got some from the supply, as you can see up there. General stores. We'll take some. And we'll take some AP. Can we take any APDS? Or... no, we can't. Right, so the ready rack means that these are basically available to load instantly, and I think the general stores just means that uh, it takes like two rounds to load during battle. But ready rack literally means fire out and then reloaded, so... We'll take two HE on the ready and three AP in the... Uh, what's it called? The ready rack. And we'll fill up mostly with AP. Sorry for the beeping. Let's get 30 rounds of AP on backup, and we'll take... 20 rounds of HE on backup. Right, cool. All hatches are open to help us, you know, spot stuff. Uh, our current gun load is HE. I think what we're going to do is change that to AP. Because I'd much rather, uh, you know, be ready to deal with uh, armor than infantry, since we've got machine guns for that. Right. Now let's continue. Let's begin the combat day. Yeah, we've already done that. Yeah, all the things are open. Yeah, I think we don't. Oh, we don't really need reload, do we? We've got smoke bombs and grenades. I think we're all good to go. Heading to your start area took you five hours and expended 16 HE rounds. I don't know what we were shooting at. Maybe some birds. Right. Now this is the battle screen. We can, if you have a look at the top left there, we can see. We can check adjacent tiles to move to, and we can check enemy resistance level. So if we enter there medium enemy resistance, so we can either call in, we can check another tile, which will cost us minutes in the day. Uh, we can enter the tile with an improved road, a dirt road, or no road, which will take time, again. Uh, an artillery or airstrike, we can call in an artillery or airstrike on adjacent tile. Uh, we can attempt to resupply the tank, or we can just have a look at our tank. So, since it's medium, let's check the rest of the area to see if anything is lighter than that. I doubt it, but it's always nice to check. Medium, okay. Medium, okay. And heavy. So let's let's clear the flank first, shall we? All right, enter. Uh, can we not cancel action? Okay, there we go. Um, let's call for a uh, airstrike. Let's call, no, let's call in for artillery strike. Yep, friendly artillery strikes in the area. Okay, cool. Boom! You encountered a friendly tri truck. Respect your ammo. Yeah, sure. Um, since we used up a lot of HE shells, let's get some more on backup. There we go. Right, now let's enter the area, shall we? And let's go for a improved road. Uh, yeah, move into the area. It took you 75 minutes to use advancing fire. Requires 1 to 63 rounds. Currently have 22 rounds. Use advancing fire. Uh... Got that noise. A battle encounter. So here is the battle screen. <laughs> Anti tank gun. Oh boy. An MG team. An MG team. Alright. Okay, thank Christ. Oh. Okay. We win! Right, uh, let's close all hatches. In case that. Cause, and just in case there's something that's uh, not spotted yet. Let's change the orders, shall we? So we don't want to fire the main gun because there's nothing to shoot at. Um, let's open my hatch and just spot. Uh, we'll open the loader hatch as well. Yeah, we'll open the loader hatch. Uh, what's... yeah, nothing else really. We just got to reload. Um, be on reload duty. Uh, driver, let's go forward. We can switch to the ammo type, stroll the ready... We can toggle using the ready rack or the on backups. So. I think pretty much that's what we need to do. Tank is not far enough to affect enemy positions. Oh well, okay, encounter's over. Yay. 
Victory! We did it, boys. Well, I didn't do anything. Set up your tank for the next battle. Um, all hatches are open, again, just in case. Uh, nothing else, because we didn't really do much, did we? Um, check adjacent area. Let's... Can we, like, cycle? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, let's go there. Uh, let's call it an artillery or airstrike. Let's call it an artillery strike on that tile there. Let's call it an airstrike, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Right, let's push in now. Uh, yeah, let's go through it. Why not? How do I enter again? Cancel action. Let's go in through an improved road. We don't really want to do it to answer kind of battle encounter. So what do we got? Anti-tank gun spotted at close range, 12 o'clock. Ooh, that's pretty close. And <laughs> 2 o'clock close range. Okay. Oh boy. Things are about to get bad. Commander Pack 40, MG team. Pack 40s. Um, close little hatches. Can we fire MGs? Fire coax MG. Um, yeah, what can you do? Fire smoke mortar. Uh, let's just get you on reload. Uh, we'll pivot the tank towards the enemy MGs and we'll direct, we'll direct coax fire, I think. Can we, like, direct uh, bow MG fire? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, Alright, let's pivot the tank towards them. Yeah. Maintains a hold down position. Um, what are we doing now? Fire MG. Let's... So we've got a pack, two packs in front of us. That's the MG behind us, correct? Hang on, let's mouse over because it tells you. Right, that's the pack 40. Okay. We'll get that one there because it's closer. Um... Ooh. This is the dice rolling. So... Oh. Required to kill less than three. Shit. This ain't good. Well, the packs aren't doing anything. Well, I guess the friendlies are... I would have thought that an MG would kill a pack gun. Because it's, again, killing the dudes on it. Killing the dudes on it, isn't it? Let's fire the main gun. Uh, right. Direct main gun fire. Sure. Uh, let's switch. Change gun load. Um, Alright. Proceed to corrections. Let's go to HE. Uh, right, we're loaded HE now, as you can see at the top left there. Uh, this is main gun firing, right? Fire the main gun. Critical hit! Yes! Boom! We just completely destroyed that pack 40. Thank Christ. I think we lost, we took some losses. I think we lost, um, we lost one tank and we lost some infantry, but it was a, it was a pretty good victory. I'm just thank, I'm just thinking that it wasn't like a pack 44. Uh, well, not a pack 44, but a pack 43. Those bastards are deadly. I'm not sure if a pack 40 could friendly pen a firefly, but I'd rather not check. Uh, right, open up, open up the hatches again. We'll switch. It, we'll stick to HE now because we've been primarily running into. Um, let's change the ammo back uh, to. There we go. Right. We're going to stick to HE shells for now because again we've been primarily running into a lot of anti-tank guns and softer targets. So I want to keep that different target area. So we got ahead there. But yeah, I just want to make sure that nothing bad happens. So, check adjacent area. Let's check that one, because it's heading straight where we need to go. Heavy enemy resistance. Okay, cool. Let's check another area, see if we can't do this in a roundabout way. Well, we might as well push through there, mightn't we? Right, let's call it an artillery or an airstrike on that. Boom. Um... Let's call it an airstrike too. Or can we? Oh, we can't, okay. 
cancel action, and let's go in through the improved road. Let's not do any fire. Right, what do we got? <laughs> MG team? Okay, that's nothing to worry about. Anti-tank gun? That's something we need to worry about. That's something we need to worry about. And that's something we need to worry about. Okay, well the artillery will help us out. It's firing at a friendly tank. Damn. Well, they missed. Alright, let's close hatches. Well, actually, no, we need to... Let's keep our commander's hatch open. Right, gonna let's rotate turret. Um, we don't need to... Let's just uh, pivot the tank, uh, order direct main gun fire. Sure, sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't think we need to really... Right, let's pivot the tank towards them again. And maintains the hold down position. So that's the... That's the um, because the thing is, what you've got to remember on this uh, screen, you, like, the things sort of, the map rotates around you. So as you remember earlier, I was probably facing, like, this direction, going towards the right, but now I've rotated the tank this way. Right, let's set the, let's set the turret facing directly ahead of us, I guess. Well, it looks like the pack 40 is bouncing. Um, right, let's fire gun. Direct may fire, reload will stay stopped. I don't really want to move in case we miss. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Comes to a stop. We're still in the hold down position, as you can see up there. Rotate turret. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's fire the main gun. Boom! What do we get? Shot hit. Rate of fire maintained. Cool. Ooh, how bad is that damaged? Do we know? Um... I don't know. I guess it's... Well, he hit it with HE, so it's probably not doing too great. Fire again! Shot missed. Damn. It's, it's pinned down, at least. Oh, okay. Friendly fire took... Well, friendlies took it out. Nice! We did it! We didn't lose anything, but they took damage, which is not good. Great. You rewarded one VP for capturing the area. Okay. Can we, like, level up our guys? Uh, right, let's switch out some more ammo into the ready rack. Boom. Right, let's exit this view. Um, tank info. Nope. Crew info, there we go. Level 1. Oh, we don't have any skill points. Okay, so we get EXP. All right, things are going good. Things are really going good. We haven't died yet, so that's always a plus, right? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and advance to the exit, and then we'll end it there. Could we attempt to resupply? I don't think we need it too much, do we? No. We've got enough ammo, I think, which is fine. Right, let's check the area ahead of us. Heavy enemy resistance again. Right, let's call it an, an artillery strike, shall we? Artillery! Wait, what? Is unable to strike this target area. Well, let's call it an airstrike then. Boom! Alright, let's advance! Let's not do that again. Okay. Light infantry behind us, MG team at 2 o'clock. Anti tank gun spotted at 12. And MG team spotted at 12. Anti tank guns pinned. Taking fire. Coverage are being pinned, okay. So, first and foremost, we want to take out that. And we want to take out that. Pack forty three, pack thirty eight. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I'd rather take it out immediately. Um, right, close hatches again. Fire main gun, and we'll direct the fire. Uh, yeah, that's good for me. Um, right, fire main gun of that pack. We don't want that thing up. Still loaded with HE. Ooh. This is a long range shot though. Oh, damn. Let's fire again. Oh, 
shot missed. Damn it. Friendlies took out that infantry behind us. Is hit by words. Well, they hit it with smoke. So I think what we're going to do is so let's spot sectors. Okay, let's spot. Okay, that's cool. MG team. All right, orders. Let's go with. Hmm. Let's fire the coax and let's restock the ready rack. We don't want to pivot because we're still facing the AT gun, so let's keep it that way, shall we? Um, but do, would we need to rotate the main gun though? We would. Let's rotate the turret just to be sure. Right, let's face it that way. Right, there we go. We lost an infantry squad. Ooh, that hit. Oh boy. Damn. Thank Christ. <laughs> How how's the crew feeling though? We okay? We all good? Uh yeah, I think we should be okay. It hit us in the side, but it didn't pen, which is nice. Um Okay, let's set spotting. There we go. Cool. Now let's fire the coax. Uh, yeah, right there. MG team is pinned. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank Christ. Let's fire the coax at that MG team again, shall we? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yes! We took out the MG team. Nice. Pack 3 is firing at us. It hit. It hits in the turret again. It's un unharmed. Right. right, let's turn the turret. Let's rotate and... We don't really want... We don't have an order to give, so... We don't really need smoke, honestly. The pack's not doing too much. Let's push forward to hull down. Yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, we can't move into a hull down. Damn. Okay, so what are we doing? Rotating the turret now, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, that pack 38 isn't very good, is it? Friendly took out that... Oh, okay, cool. Nice. We did it. We lost one infantry squad. Damn. Well, still going good. Set up your tank. Um, again, everything's fine. We got 48 shells. I think we're all good, honestly. Yeah. All right. Commander, you're requested to head to the highlighted map location and check for estimated enemy resistance. Bonus five VP. Hmm. Oh, damn. This is going cool. It's August the eighth. Still, it's 1845. Right. You know what? I think I'm going to end it here. Yeah, save game. So this has been Armored Commander. I don't really want to uh, record any more because again, it's a bit so slow paced, and if you don't like the game, then it's not probably very fun to watch and everything. But yeah, if you like it, I will provide a link in the description below for you to go check the website and download it. It's completely free to download. All you have to do is download it, and it's really good actually. It's not too bad. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.